In this example, we're given an equation that relates the molar volume, capital V, of a mixture of two components to the mole fraction of the two components. And what we're going to do is, for this mixture, if the mole fraction of component 1 is 0 0.6, we want to know what's the molar volume of the mixture. And then we want to calculate the partial molar volume of component 1. Well, the molar volume is pretty straightforward. It's just substituting in this equation. So I'm going to pause and, and write that down. So here's the molar volume. If x1 is 0 0.6, then x2, of course, is 0 0.4. Next, we want to get the partial molar volume. And because this is a binary mixture, we can use the equation where partial molar volume has the bar over the molar volume for component 1. It's equal to the molar volume plus the mole fraction of the second component and a derivative. And this is not a partial derivative, but this is a total derivative. So in order to carry out this derivative, I need to take the equation for volume and write it in terms of x1 only, not x1 and x2. Since it's a total derivative, a derivative of volume respect to x1 is minus derivative of volume respect to x2. So, so let's rewrite this equation for the total volume in terms of just x1. So I've done is for x2, I've substituted 1 minus x1 since x1 plus x2 add to 1. So now what I'm going to do is just simplify and combine terms. And so then the volume ends up being in terms of x1 only. And this is now what we want to differentiate. So if we differentiate respect to x1, of course, first term, derivative 0, second term, minus 16.3, third term, 3.7 times 2 times x1. And we're doing this evaluation at x1 equals 0 0.6. So I can substitute that number in and calculate the derivative. And now I have all the information to substitute into this equation in order to calculate the partial molar volume of component 1. So the volume we calculated, 83.9 cubic centimeters per mole. x2 is 0 0.4. And this derivative minus 20.7 gives us a number of 75.6 cubic centimeters per mole. So that's the partial molar volume component 1. We could perhaps reduce it to two significant figures, but just to show the calculation, I'll leave that here. So the partial molar volume, of course, is different than the molar volume of pure component because of interactions molecules in the mixture.